Hello everyone, Keith here with Mid-South Adventures. Everybody loves the birthday party. And we had the chance to go to a different kind of birthday party. One that celebrated 200 years since the founding of Gibson County, Tennessee. It was held at the courthouse in Trenton, Tennessee, the Gibson County Courthouse. So here's a little bit of the celebration of 200 years since the founding of Gibson County, Tennessee. so much all the effort that has gone into making this a good party for her 200th birthday. We're looking forward to sharing a fun night with y'all. We've got great music. We've got lots of food vendors down the street, activities for the kids. So we hope that you will find something that makes your night special. We also have merchandise because y'all want to commemorate this i know you do we, we've got t-shirts we've got christmas ornaments we've got challenge coins for sale we also have some free items so make your way up there and, and get something free to take home of course like anything that happens around here we have to have sponsors and we are very grateful for all of our sponsors their names are on the beautiful lamppost banners as you go around Court Square and and look around. I particularly want to say thank you to McLean Power Systems and Jackson State Community College for being our premier sponsor. It's a great time to be alive in Gibson County, Tennessee. We have a wonderful mayor to thank for starting all of this. So now it's my honor to introduce Mayor Nelson Cunningham. Thank you, Sandy. Good afternoon and welcome everyone. I am Nelson Cunningham and it's an honor and a distinct privilege to serve you as your Gibson County Mayor and what an exciting and a historical time to be Gibson County is. Can you believe it? Our county is 200 years old. And today we're coming together as fellow Gibson Countyans to commemorate our birthday and our heritage. It was on this very day, October 21st, 1832, that the Tennessee State Legislature passed a private act establishing Gibson County 27 years after Tennessee gained its statehood. We are so glad that you are here to participate as we reflect back over the past 200 years, honor our history, and celebrate who we are today as we have truly accomplished greatness together. Before we begin our celebration, I want to acknowledge those who have worked tirelessly for months to bring this bicentennial celebration to fruition. First, the Gibson County Commission that started the ball rolling by their financial pledge. Secondly, the Gibson County Tourism Committee that also served as the bicentennial celebration planning committee. That committee is comprised of Sandy Moss, our committee chair, and members Laura Spear, Bill Hickerson, Nathan Reed, and John Blankenship. The three chambers of commerce, Humboldt Chamber Director, Director Amanda Love, Milan Chamber, former director Julie Ward, and our current director Kaylee Tyner, Greater Gibson County Area Chamber Director Libby Wickersham, the Gibson County Sheriff's Department, the Trent Police and Fire Departments. Let's thank this group for their efforts. We are honored to stand before you as a voice for the Tennessee Legislature and on behalf of Governor Lee, it is an absolute honor to be here today. I think back over 200 years and three things that continue to resonate are faith, family, and community. If you look back over the 200 years of Gibson County, those three have remained the same. And as we move forward to the next 200 years, we're going to continue to make sure those are the markers that lead us into that future. By keeping God first, 
protecting the families, and then supporting community like we see here today, Gibson County will continue to thrive into the next generation. And I'm glad and blessed to be a part of that um, currently in the, in the State House. On behalf of Senator John Stevens, Representative Chris Hurd, myself, Speaker Cameron Sexton, and Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally, I'm presenting a proclamation on behalf of the House and Senate, and also on behalf of Governor Bill Lee today, I'm presenting his Day of Recognition. By Bill Lee, Governor on behalf of Tennessee, by virtue of authority vested in me, I hereby confer upon the Gibson County Bicentennial a day of recognition. Governor, on behalf of the governor, to the mayor, <laughs> future governor, appreciate you. Thank you, yes sir. We are absolutely blessed in West Tennessee to have Congressman David Kustoff representing us. Out in the west, the sun is low, the night will fall so fast. My soul is tired, my will is gone, tonight I'll rest at last. I hear that lonesome, mournful sound of the calling whippoorwill. My mind is drawn to my mother's words and my old home. I can hear my mama calling after me, calling me, after me. I can hear my mama calling after me, calling me, after me. Gibson County when Thomas Fight made his way to this area from Warren County. Now he traveled not by horse, not by buggy, but by foot and walked that long distance from Warren County, Middle Tennessee here to settle. Along with his brother-in-law and his cousin by marriage, Mr. Spencer and Mr. Randolph, they settled about eight miles that direction to the east. They built a log cabin, cleared the land, to bring their families in the spring of 1820. They went all the way back to Warren County, brought them back here, and they were our official first settlers. Also a man by the name of Luke Biggs settled about four miles northwest of here, and he settled here along with a few other folks, and we want to mention some of these names because a lot of these descendants are still in Gibson County. The Tinkle family, the McWhorters, the Flowers, the Tyson family, the Needhams, the Goodmans, the Hamiltons, Gillespies, Edmondson's all names and we've got descendants uh, here today. My family traces its roots back to Gibson County to 1827. So it's exciting to be a part of this momentous occasion today. So by about 1820, we wanted to petition to become a county in Tennessee. There were two others in 1821, Carroll County and then Madison County that had enough folks to become a county. Well, we were just short of the amount needed. So by early 1823, enough folks had gathered in this county and settled here to petition the Tennessee State Legislature, which was meeting in Murfreesboro at the time. We had 210 folks sign a petition. It was taken and it was passed on October the 21st, 1823. Now you may ask me, John, who is Gibson County named after? 
Well, obviously the Gibson part you probably figured out. But Colonel John H. Gibson was originally commissioned as a lieutenant in the 28th Regiment of the Tennessee Militia out of Bedford County, Tennessee in 1811. Now, he was a second major of the cavalry of John Coffey under Andrew Jackson, and he served in the Natchez Campaign of 1812 and 1813, and finally as a lieutenant colonel under General Coffey in the Creek War of 1813. It's also worth noting that his younger brother, Thomas Gibson, settled in what would be Gibsonport, where we're at now, which would later be named Trenton, about that same time. He stayed here just a few years before moving back to Middle and East Tennessee. John Gibson died in 1823 in the mid part of Madison County. He's buried in an unmarked grave. Now, about the time of the Civil War, the legislature wanted to bring Colonel Gibson's remains and be buried on the Capitol grounds. When they came to Madison County to find him, they couldn't locate his grave, so that never occurred, but our county named for Colonel John H. Gibson. The first official movement to see government in a new county, that's usually what happens. People want to get together and then the government has to be formed. So our government in the new county did two things in January of 1824. They selected two people, a clerk pro tem, Alexander Bradford, and the election of William P. Seat as the chairman of the county court. Mr. Seat is on the back side of this property now. His tombstone was moved here in the 1970s to commemorate his service to the county. So you may ask, what is the second thing that the new county court did, which is known as the county commission today? Somebody knows it. Yeah, they created taxes. Don't we all love our taxes? I don't see any cheering for that. Boo. So let's look at a few things, and then I'll wrap up what I'm going to say in this segment. So for each 100 acres, the tax rate was 12 and a half cents in January of 1824. A town lot, which was around this court square, was 25 cents its tax rate. For a four-wheel carriage, if you had a carriage, that was a big deal. You paid three dollars and 33 and a third cents. And then each two-wheel carriage, it's called a carriage of pleasure. Now, I can't imagine a two-wheel carriage being that much pleasure today, but it was back then. A dollar and 66 and two-thirds cents you were taxed for. The second day of the county court, they elected several more officials, and then our next segment will tell you about those very first people of Gibson County. So in January of 1825, we erect a first courthouse on this property, which is a log structure, and this is the fifth building on this building, this side here, built in 1899 through 1901. Thank y'all so much for being here. We'll take a quick break, and here, no time flat, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Thank y'all for being here. instructions with your sparklers. If you have a lighter and you can get your started, that's great, but it's a lot easier to start with each other if you'll help. When you're finished, please let it burn all the way out and we'll put them in a pile um, right where the handicap sign is in the middle here.
everybody help us out here for the Gibson County's 200th birthday. We're going to say happy birthday, God bless you, just like we did before. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. If you like this video, feel free to share and hit the like button. And as always, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, so long everybody.